Good morning, dear community. I'm curious how everybody is doing. And we are here at the house of Jinshin. We're still here. And last night we had a wonderful uh, Shabbat and everybody in the street went outside and everybody sang. So that was really wonderful and fun. Today I want to talk about uh, activating principle or mediator flow. Uh, it's called activating principle because this is the energy that goes from the right upper body to the left lower body and from the left upper body to the right lower body, going back and forth, back and forth, and harmonizing the entire body. So the way we can see this is when you have a left knee project, the cause may be in the right shoulder, and that is, uh, that is because of the uh, activating principle or the mediator flow. Um, let me see. So the, the mediator flow harmonizes all of the emotions because it is on the mediator flow that the emotional attitudes are born. Right here at the three, which is also key to the immune system, SEL3, the door helping the exhale and the inhale, this is where the mediator flow begins and it is also where our emotional attitudes are born. So it's very important again for that reason as well to keep the threes open. So place your left hand on your right shoulder and you can do this lying down which will be comfortable. Make a, a ring with your thumb over your ring fingernail and then we're going to touch the knees. So either you're going to put your knees together like this or you can be lying down comfortable on a chair and by the way let's just really start to get into the breath and start to get this moving or you can put your your uh, heel in the in the one as well so you'll be like this and if you're lying down that can be comfortable too so this is the, med the quickie for the mediator flow, the self-help hold for the mediator flow, allowing for the energy to move from the right upper body to the left lower body and from the left upper body to the right lower body, moving back and forth and back and forth. Harmonizing, as you're holding this, you're harmonizing worry, fear, anger, sadness, and the trying to's or pretense or efforting too much. So it's very important that you let go and don't effort too much. Take a nice deep breath. Harmonizing the mediator energy. Mediator flow has a lot to do with our lifestyle as this is where the emotions and emotional attitudes come into being. So if we hold on to them, then they can cause problems. And the main one is fear. May, fear is the main cause for disease or disharmony in the body. So with that in mind, let's do the other side. Place your right hand over the left shoulder and hold 11 and three bows at the same time sticking your fingertips into the three, making sure that the SEL3 is open, harmonizing the immune system, balancing and supporting the immune system. Making your ring with your thumb over your ring fingernail, helping to open up the lungs and placing your right heel into SEL1 or putting your knees together, very comfortable. So the hand mudra allow, allows for the lungs to function optimally and of course the lungs they help to open up everything so for this reason it's so dynamic um, holding this hand mudra take a nice deep breath and let go on of all the fear if we have any in our bodies right now just let it go Let it go with the exhale. And remember, we exhaling down the front of the body to the tip of the toes where the exhale becomes the inhale and moves up the back of the body. So this, this cycle is always going on, healing and cleaning the body. 
very good. So now we're going to connect our spirit, mind, and body so that we're solidly grounded in the earth and connected to the heavens. And I'm going to do it by holding some uh, different holds and I'll explain to you what they will do. The first one is actually let us feel if there's any tenderness in the 13s here, SEL 13. And then leave the hand, then leave the hand uh, there. For me, it's this one. Okay, so I'm going to use this 13. So place your opposite hand on the 13 and then your 11. So it's 11 and 13 on the opposite side and stay there for a moment. Yeah, your 13 is a little bit higher. It's right here at the third rib. So you're crossing your hands over the body. This is the first step of the small intestine flow and the small intestine flow helps, uh, helps with colds and flus and viruses as well as sore throat. And the reason why I wanted you to feel which 13 feels tighter is when you do have the beginnings of a sore throat, go to the tight 13. So you place your hand there and the opposite 11. So this is a very, very important and wonderful hold to remember right now. If anybody in your family or anybody that you live with, or if you do a Zoom call, you can explain this hold for anybody with a thor sore throat. Clearing the chest line. The chest line talks about the awareness of ourselves. It connects us to spirit and it helps the lungs and the heart, anything related to the chest line. It gets our feelings to move so they don't get stuck and become emotions. So we really only need to do one side. You can do both sides, but if you open up one side automatically, it allows for the other side to open up as well. So if you choose, you can do the other side, but I'm going to move right along to clearing the waistline. And we're going to do that by holding the first step of the diaphragm flow. So place one hand on your elbow and the other hand on the 14, SEL 14. This opens up the waistline, connecting heaven and earth, connecting spirit to body, energy to matter. The waistline has to do with our psychology and understanding of ourself, our mind, if we are thinking a lot, a lot of thoughts, And worrying that all has to do with the waistline this hold will also if you have a fast heartbeat this uh, or you, your pulses are very fast then this hold will also slow that down just gonna hold the other side for a minute so you see I'm sticking my thumb in here. You can stick your thumb in here or you can hold your fingertips, whatever feels comfortable for you. You can place your whole hand on the 14. Take a nice deep breath. Very good. And now a flow that will help the hip line Place your right hand on your right 15 and your left hand on SEL6 or the sole of the foot. This is the first step of the 15 flow and that will bring joy, laughter and happiness which we all need some of today. Rooting us to the earth. Six is the root for balance. So it brings us balance spiritually and also literally physically because it's what we stand on. And the 15 brings joy, happiness and laughter. So this is just a wonderful hold 
connecting us to the earth. So in this way, we have connected body, mind and spirit. As some days we do it by holding the master keys for 12 and 11. Today we did it by holding 13, 14 and 15. So now place your hands together and we'll say a little prayer for all of us together, for everybody to stay safe, to stay strong and to take good care of yourself so that you can bring it out to your loved ones as well. So we'll see you all tomorrow and thank you so much for joining me at the House of Gentian.